Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Hubert Lau from Trustfix. How are you today, Hubert? Fantastic, Tracy. Thank you for having us. We noticed that you just put some news out recently about looking at mergers and acquisitions, or acquisitions in particular. Can you talk to us about your 2022 plan of action? Well, we're trying to, uh, we're going to be growing our company in two ways. One is, of course, organically, continue to work with our existing customers and network. And the second is through acquisition. And the type of acquisitions we're looking for uh, is that it will give us growth in revenue and profitability. And it's got to be uh, very creative and synergistic to our existing solution, which provides the <clears throat> traceability and the aggregation of data within supply chains so that we can help companies report into their ESG as well as creating trust. Of course, if I recall properly, your revenue, you did have a sizable increase in revenue last year. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you're going to continue this trend? Keep building what we've been building. So we spent the first couple of years creating the foundation of what we need to do. And last year we started taking a run with uh, growing our revenue through the projects uh, that we are piloting with our customers. This year is moving towards the commercialization of those pilots and then continue to really focus on the growth through acquisitions. Because I think right now we have the right type of foundational pieces, both technology wise and with our team that we're working together internally to grow and synergistically work with other companies to bring them in under the TrustPix umbrella. Further to your comment about, you know, you have the foundation, you've been putting out a series of news releases about how you've been dealing with your architecture. Can you talk to us about that? Well, the architecture side of the equation really comes down to saying two sides of the equation. One is from our, our retail or enterprise customers. What is it that they need? And we're analyzing quite often their corporate social responsibility report card and, and key metrics, as well as their ESG report cards. And so that helps us identify the needs that they have. On the other side is we continue to focus on growing the producers, the information about the food production, because by tying the two into a supply chain, we're able to really grow the value proposition we give to not just our customers, but to the consumers and to the planet. And so really when we're looking at how we're growing in terms of revenue and our strategies is really asking ourselves these questions saying, does it help the producer side of the equation, the food production side? Does it help the retailers, the enterprise side? Or does it really help on the supply chain reporting side of, the, uh, of those equations for us? We were talking briefly about what keeps your blockchain technology competitive and a leader in this race. Can you share this with our investor intel audience, please? Absolutely. The way we look at blockchain is that instead of trying to pick the winners and then get into the argument of who's better and who's best, we really looked at our technology and saying, how do we connect and integrate to different blockchain fabrics depending on which country we're in, who we're servicing and why we're servicing it. And so we actually pick the best blockchain fabric that we can partner up and use depending on the circumstance. So from our perspective, we continue to work within in the blockchain world, but instead of trying to become ourselves self-proclaimed the best or trying to pick a winner, we're looking at the right type of collaboration strategy so that we can answer the need of our customers. So am I correct in understanding that you are not only a disruptive technology, but you are appealing to the ESG funds at this time? Can you talk to us a little bit, just a little bit about this? Sure. The, the best way to think about it is that right now, <clears throat> more and more companies are really caring about their ESG uh, report card. And they, what they don't want to do is greenwash, meaning that they'll just put some fluffy information there that they can't back. So what we're bringing to the table is to for these companies say, look, we have information of your whole supply chain. And because of that, you can actually get real data to support your, uh, your ESG report card and the KPIs you publicly identified. And by doing that, that gives some hardcore evidence 
that they can show they're moving towards their ESG targets and goals. Well, as always, Hubert, uh, trust, trust fix. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I hope you will keep us updated as we look forward to following you closely this year. Thank you, Tracy, and have a great day.